Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, welcome to Rambler Ballpark in Regina, Saskatchewan at the North American Indigenous Games. We have a wonderful uh, treat for you guys with uh, a couple of great uh, softball teams under 16. Um, my name is Lyle Daniels. I'm from the Coquitous First Nation and uh, working with the host and also a major supporter of the North American Indigenous Games. And uh, I got a great co-host. Yeah, hello. My name is Evan Tape, and I'm from Kakwishtal First Nation. Uh, Beautiful day out here at Rounder Park. You know, we just finished up the uh, the Northwest Territories New Brunswick game, in which New Brunswick was uh, victorious in 13 to three. And we move right into Team Saskatchewan versus Team Ontario, two of the uh, perennial powerhouses in fastball in Canada. So, and by the looks of things. Uh, a lot of fans are in the house. There is a lot of fans. The weather is perfect for it. We have a temperature of about 25 degrees right now. We got uh, very little wind. Um, looks like people are uh, huddling under their umbrellas, but also you could tell by the uh, the right field there that uh, we got uh, a large number of uh, Saskatchewan people who are uh, well in attendance right now, and we look forward to a wonderful game between uh, Team Ontario Team Saskatchewan. Just going to go over the, the, the starting lineups for uh, your teams here. The home team is Ontario. Um, <clears throat> batting leadoff for Ontario is Liana Aaron. Uh, batting second is Dylan Jordan. Batting third is Cole Timken. Batting fourth is Austin Jack. Batting fifth is Lanny Knott. Batting sixth is Isaiah Aaron. Batting seventh, Ricky Hull. Batting eighth, Mason Marlin. And batting ninth, your pitcher, Zach Green. They are the home team. Ontario and Red taking the field right now. Your starting uh, lineup for Team Saskatchewan. Uh, leading off for them is going to be uh, Nick Bazaraba. Batting second is going to be Blaze Arcand, uh, followed by Ashton Burns. Uh, batting leadoff from the Cowses First Nation, Gil Belgard. Uh, batting fifth from Chapaway's First Nation, Damon George. Uh, batting sixth, Trey Bear. Batting seventh, Sage Fox. Batting eighth, Tom Capo. And batting ninth, Alex Wadidika. And they got a whole bevy of guys on the bench, and we'll get to them as the game goes on. But um, your starting battery uh, for Team Ontario is going to be uh, on the mound. Uh, heating up right here is Zach Green. And uh, his catcher is Cole Timken. So what do you think? Uh, what do you think, Lyle? Well, I think you know the uh, like you said. You, you we we seem to got uh, a couple of powerhouses, and when it comes to under 16 softball, uh, maybe a couple of uh, uh, potential teams to be in in the medal rounds for this uh, uh, for 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 this uh, boys division. Uh, but uh, you know, when it comes to this caliber, and uh, even though they're under 16, they're still good enough to be able to uh, make it a, a tight game. Yeah, we got the uh, we got a full house. You see, anyone who is anyone in Regina and, and the surrounding Aboriginal communities are here. Uh, seeing Chief Brian standing ready, walking around with his umbrella. Uh, seeing a lot of folks from Uchapaways here. Seeing my man Kelly Wolf from Muskeg Lake is here. Oh, we got a lot of people. Anyway, we're on away. First pitch of the game coming up to Nick Bazara. First pitch is a little low. It's a nice atmosphere here. You can hear everyone cheering. You can see all the team sass. Team Ontario is here in front of us right now. Here's a hard single by Bazarava. Here we go. A little throwing here over to first base. Gets Bazarava to second. Had that throw been on at first base, I think they would have had one up right here. Very close. Throws it in. Quick throw over to first base. Had that throw there. But nonetheless, we move on. Uh, Blaze Arcand is your batter coming up for Saskatchewan. Nice little strike there by pitcher Zach Green. <clears throat> Nick Bazar was going to come around to, to score on the throwing air from Ontario. One of those little plays, you know, you, you, you know, as, as someone, as maybe even the pitcher, right? those kind of things that are going to be uh, lead them on because it's a hot sun out here. And, uh, 
longer the team stays in the outfield, the more sun exposure and the tired they get. Nice ball to back pitch there. Ashton Burns is your batter for Team Saskatchewan right now. The one thing I like about uh, the Aboriginal community and specifically Indigenous people, First Nations people in Saskatchewan, namesake, always by community in a lot of cases, yeah. you know, you can go by their last name to almost uh, guarantee where, they, where they're coming from. Where would you say Burns? James Burns, Smith? James Smith, for sure, yeah. Up in that neck of the woods. Couple of throwing errors already in the early in this game from uh, Team Ontario. Very costly. Yeah, Ashton with a little single uh, hit to the shortstop there. Nice play by the shortstop. Just the first baseman seems to be having a little bit of trouble right now. That's the second uh, second ball that he's dropped and let go by his way. So it's early on. It's early on. Though. All right, coming to the plate uh, from Kaos's First Nation, Gilbert Belgard. Gilbert is kind of a hardball baseball player as well, so a little bit of everything this guy has. Obviously, him being a cleanup batter, he has a little bit of power in his bat. One of the things uh, the Ontario pitcher Zach Green has been shown early, he has a nice changeup. Changeup can throw a batter off, you know, you come in there with the, with the heat and you know, fast stuff, and you throw a changeup in there, it just throws you right off. Gilbert gets convened by as a pitcher. Saskatchewan has a nice rally going early on. One nothing early. Saskatchewan over Ontario. Just getting started here. For you people who can't make it to Regina, obviously you can watch this online at myaccess.ca uh, backslash NAIG. Uh, check it out uh, or tell people, you, uh, you people that are watching it in Regina, send it out to all your, your community members. Damon George is your batter for Saskatchewan right now. from Chapoy's First Nations. I know the kid personally, he's kind of a, has a bit of power in his bat, so you know. The other thing that uh, we did uh, really well in the last uh, game between uh, New Brunswick and uh, NWT, we started utilizing the social media. Don't be afraid to uh, uh, check us out on Twitter. Lyle W. Daniels, L-Y-L-E-W Daniels um, is my uh, handle. I'll get you, Evan, to spell out your, your, your Twitter, Twitter handle, and, uh, and uh, don't be afraid to send us tweets to be, and uh, we'll give a shout out to, uh, to anybody that uh, either follows us or sends us a tweet, and uh, uh, let's hear from a large number of the community members all over Saskatchewan and Ontario. Yeah, let us know where you're listening from. We'll give you a shout out. It's part of the nice thing you're sitting at home cheering on your community member. Uh, I can be followed at Kakanuck, K-A-H-K-A-N-U-C-K. That's my Twitter handle, K-A-H-K-A-N-U-C-K. -K -K. So uh, give us a little follow. We'll, we'll give you a shout out. Let, let us know where you're listening in from. And go from there. Trey Bear, a uh, little pop by the second base there. So one out for uh, Team Saskatchewan right now. Bringing to the plate Sage Fox. For parents and uh, mission staff or community members, uh, don't forget to ask uh, members from Team Sask or Team Ontario to go pick up a copy of this game at the cultural cultural village at the access communications uh, van that uh, is there usually done and completed uh, by 11 a.m. the next day after a broadcast so uh, make sure you take your DVD home of this game and uh, be proud of your community members oh. all right the count on uh, Sage Fox is one ball two strikes still loaded bases there we go. Sage goes down swinging. 
Oh, Terry, I'm a little bit of trouble here. Uh, I think maybe just the atmosphere getting them a little bit. Uh, it's full house here right now, and pro Saskatchewan crowd, so a few errors here, a few thrown errors, but I think they'll be fine if they get out of this inning here. Young Tom Capo is up to bat right now. Tom Capo. Saskatchewan up 2 nothing early in the first inning. I've seen Tom Capo Sr. walking around here earlier, so this must be Tom Capo Jr. My good friend Kelly Wolf from the Muskeg Lake Free Nation in the house, counselor up there. Goes down swing in there. We've got three three outs there. Saskatchewan gets a couple runs. Ontario's going to come into bat. Yeah, me and my good friend Kelly are there. We both served in the 1st Battalion, Princess Patricia's Canadian Light Infantry in Edmonton. So, me and Kelly have a few, uh, both served in Afghanistan, and he's just in, in the house here. So, it's, it was nice to see Kelly, because I haven't seen him for a while. Like, when you see the old soldiers you served with overseas, you know, it brings back a lot of good memories, and a lot of bad memories, but but with, with Kelly, him and I had some good memories. So. Well, you know, the one thing that, uh, that we need to always be proud of is not only our community members, but the people that serve our country uh, so well. Uh, and Evan, I always, uh, you guys are my heroes, and uh, to take the time to uh, to do that and, and, and sacrifice uh, the time that, that's needed to go to a place like that and to uh, and to represent us, uh, it's, it's that much more meaningful to community members. So very proud of you, Evan, and uh, it's an honor to be working with you. Thanks for that, Laugh. Well, Saskatchewan's taking the field here in their bottom half. Uh, put a couple runs up on the board. Uh, your, your, your home plate umpire today is Tyler Blinken, uh, first base umpire Lauren Hay. And, you know, as much sometimes as we, 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 get, we get upset at the ump, we got to remember that they're just regular people. And, you know, even behind home plate, uh, Tyler has all that hot equipment on. So he'll be back there sweating, trying to call the best game possible. All right, come on. Don't forget to uh, give us uh, some tweets. Can't we'll uh, definitely give you guys a shout out for you, a shout out for you people who are listening at online and uh, or in uh, in the privacy of your nice, cool hotel room in Regina on Cable Seven uh, Access Communications. All right, the Ontario batter coming up to bat here is young Liam Aaron. Let's go batter. Left fielder. <laughs> See all sorts of teams walking in here. There's another fastball team walking in. There's another game going on just to the right of us here. I'm going to get my assistant April to find out the score there so we can let you all know at home um, how that's going. So if uh, you're cheering for one of those teams, you're kind of up to date on their score. Getting started in the uh, bottom of the first, we've got uh, Ontario up. Starting battery for uh, Saskatchewan is Ashton Burns on the mound and Nick Bazaraba catching from behind home plate. Nice little breeze blowing through here too, so you know we, we always want to complain about how hot it is sometimes, but at the end of the day it's we'll take this over the cold windy rain and and um, there's a breeze going through here so the people wearing all the hot equipment and and the pitchers that are overexerting themselves, they always got a little breeze coming through. So. On, on, on the, on the, at bat right now, we have uh, Liam, Liam Aaron from Six Nations, 13 year old. Uh, the one thing I noticed from the game previous, we had a couple of uh, young, young boys playing, and it's good to see a 13 year old Liam Aaron from Six Nations uh, playing, been playing this sport since he's been five years old and a uh, very proud uh, uh, ball player from Southern Ontario. Well, Liam does his job, you know, a good leadoff batter gets on base and, and Liam took his walk and he's on, so we'll see what Ontario can do with that now. Let's see Councillor Les George in the house from Ochapaways and uh, Jared, dog father, Allery is, is right beside him, so 
with Chapo Isar, and I was cheering on for their two ball players that are playing for Team Sass. Double play by Saskatchewan. Nice heads up play from the pitcher who fields the ball through to second. Quick turn over to first. And the nice leadoff batter that was on for Ontario was uh, no right now. Two away for Saskatchewan. All right, coming to bat for uh, Ontario's Cole Timken. Cole Timken, Cole Timken. Traditionally, out of the third spot, you want you know a good a batter that you know puts the ball in play because he usually a guy that brings in some of the runs and. Uh, Standing in there, you can tell Cole has a little bit of pop to him. There we go. Nice swing. Oh, hit it on the nose, but a nice catch by the center fielder. Cole Timken, the batter for Team Ontario, member of the Sunset Country Métis out of Fort Francis, 15-year-old. It's two, uh, 2013 uh, Rookie of the Year for the uh, Rainy River District Fastball Association back in his hometown. So you can tell with that swing, eh? Oh, hit it right in the nose and unfortunately hit it right to the center fielder who was playing him perfectly. So after one complete inning here, uh, Saskatchewan 2, Ontario nothing. Uh, I think we're in for a uh, uh, hell of a game here. Uh, over on the other diamond, uh, top of the second inning, Alberta is winning. Huh? Alberta is up on BC 2-0. Saskatchewan over Ontario. Wind's, wind is picking up a little bit. Yeah. So how did the teams look to you, Lyle, after the first inning? Well, you know, Ontario had uh, a couple of minor errors uh, early on, but you know what uh, What I, I think usually happens in, in, in softball, they tend to uh, find their own and, uh, you know, they start to settle down a bit. The uh, uh, early jitters, I think, is what they call it, and uh, uh, that, that I'm sure they will start to settle down and uh, and definitely start to uh, uh, work at trying to get back at this game. Coming to bat for uh, Team Saskatchewan is Alex Wodidica. Number nine batter uh, playing left field for the boys. You know, uh, looking down on the third base, uh, yeah, third base line there for Team Saskatchewan, the coach is Actually, none other than uh, my father, Morley Watson. Uh, Morley has been involved with youth fastball for as long as I remember as a kid. You know, even when I was 13, 14, he was always there, had the boys in the lineup. And so it's nice to see Morley still out here after all these years. Well, still. you're absolutely right. I have a great respect for Morley. You know, when I was the chef de mission for uh, Team Saskatchewan, um, when we went down to Denver, he was uh, uh, the vice chief at, from FSIN in charge of sport and rec at the time. And uh, great respect for him. Uh, a strong sport person, a, a strong uh, caring of a young people person. And you know what? I, uh, anytime I have coffee with him, it's always an yeah, honor because uh, uh, we both have uh, that uh, same commitment to our young people. And, uh, uh, and he's been doing it for longer than me. But at the same time, um, it's great to see him coaching. And this is what he really loves to do. All right, coming up here is Wadidika for Team Sass. Top of the second inning, uh, Saskatchewan up to Zip. Ball. I think Ontario's gonna be fine here. Once they just kind of, you know, get their bearings, you know, straight here, they'll be fine. The bad inning, the first inning. Hey. Just got a text from my good friend Lance Hollowaddy up in Kelvington, Saskatchewan. Wants to uh, say hi up there. Lance is one of the, uh, He's in charge of the golf course up there. He's a heck of a ball player and uh, plays for the Kelvington Comets. And he just said he's watching today. Oh, yeah. Wherever he is, he's watching. And well, and being involved in sport and being so close to so many of the team players from all across uh, Canada and uh, and North America. You know, I just got a text from my uh, 
my good friend from Manitoba, Keith Dick, who's watching this, probably in his cold, nice cold hotel room <laughs> right now, wouldn't dare come out because heaven forbid he gets a little bit darker than he is because uh, he's fairly light-skinned from uh, coming from uh, OCN in, uh, in northern Manitoba. So, Keith Dick, I'm glad you're able to uh, check us out. Oh, count on Alex. Ah, nice. April just showed us the streaming live version that's uh, online there, and it's it's clear as day. She's there. Access 7 has your stuff together here. Myaccess.ca slash NAIG. Check it out online. Uh, live streaming of this game. And, and again, also for you parents and people who are watching, don't be afraid to check out the Cultural Village uh, uh, with, uh, at the Access Communications van or uh, uh, site that they have there. After 11 o'clock on uh, the next day after a broadcast uh, of this, you can get uh, a DVD uh, uh, recorded uh, for your uh, f for you and, and your family, and uh, by all means, make sure you uh, take the time to do that. Bring the plate. Uh, big shout out to my big buddy. Sorry, uh, Evan uh, Tex Marshall, uh, the chef de mission from Nova Scotia. I talk about my friends across. Uh, well, you must uh, have many. I got many. I got many friends in sport, and uh, you know it's an honor to be uh, always close to them. And uh, we're really close. Uh, uh, we're like family, and he's uh, uh, Keith and uh, and Tex are one of our, two of my best friends in all of Canada. Never mind. Uh, 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 just uh, around uh, Saskatchewan here. There's a bunch by Bazaraba. Nice play from the pitcher. Good throw. Yeah, Alex got on there with the walk, so he was on first. Uh, nice play there. Well, that's the way the game fastballs, that's the way it's supposed to be played. You know, the leadoff guy gets on in these tight games, second guy bunts him over, third guy should hit him in. So we'll see if that plays out here. Uh, Blaze Arcand is up to bat. Just got a, I just got a Facebook message from uh, Trish Watson Vasquez listing down in beautiful Colorado. So hi down there, Trish. Uh, your Uncle Morley is still loud as ever here. There's an overthrow by the shortstop bringing in Young Wadirica. Again, some minor errors, you know, it's a little bit costly. The, uh, the one thing you, you always want to try and do is, uh, is making sure you uh, try and, uh, and, and not have those, those minor errors that are sometimes costly uh, throughout any game. Yeah, and here, you know, you, you can just tell by looking at them, they, they, they have a very good team, uh, good ball players, but just, just, just a little bit of, a little bit of uh, antsy right now, and that'll go away with time, I think. Nice slide from Team Saskatchewan. Your pitcher Ashton Burns is batting right now. Three nothing Saskatchewan over on Team Ontario right now. Top of the second. finding his spots and that's kind of what you expect from a pitcher you know a little bit early on a little shaky but once they get warmed up you know hitting their spots where, where the catcher sets up there's a nice pitch there very nice pitch nice little rise ball do it cole timken is his catcher behind the plate there so cole has the gear on and he's back there sweating it out but he's calling the good game so far just the boys got to minimize the errors and things will be fine Peanut Peter Gil Belgard's up. Oh. Last time up, Gil got uh, beaned here, so we'll see if, see if Cole can come back or uh, Gil can come back with a little bit of a little bit of payback. Big swing by Gil. 
send us your tweets at Lyle W. Daniels. And uh, I keep forgetting yours, Evan, so you're going to have to spell yours out. Oh, nice piece of hitting by Gilbert. Gilbert just stuck his bat out there, just poked it out there. And, uh, that's what a good first cleanup hitter does. He just puts the bat on the ball and puts it in play. And it was up to you. I didn't know. Squeeze it in between third base and the uh, shortstop. Gil rewarded with a nice uh, RBI single there. Bring it to the plate, uh, Damon George. Come on. Ball. Damon's older brother, Cayman, is one of the uh, one of the pitchers for the, the under-19 team. So definitely fastball runs in their family. straight back beautiful crowd beautiful day here at Rambler Park and they got everything you need down here you got your souvenir shirts you got concession stand I see uh, vice chief Kim Jonathan in the house over here there's an overthrow here Gilly moving to second and they got, of course, us true color commentators, really which is uh, a real treat uh, that we're able to uh, actually volunteer for Access Communications. It was uh, great for them to uh, put a call out on Facebook and uh, look look for volunteers to be able to do this. And it was, we were more than willing to help out. You're, Evan has great knowledge of softball and uh, me with the North American Digits Games and sport development. I thought it would be a great opportunity for us to uh, spend some time and uh, help with the uh, with the community and throw in our two cents when it comes to volunteering uh, during these games. Yeah, anything for the kids, right? You know, you play a lot of sport, I play a lot of sport, and at the end of the day, when we can't play anymore, we get back anyway we can. Four nothing, Saskatchewan, ahead of Team Ontario. Damon George with the, with the Hawkeye up there. He gets a walk over to first base, keeps the rally going. Second base, uh, second base when he was playing shortstop. He's having a little bit of a rough go right now. Uh, kind of, he knocked the ball down there, which you're supposed to do, and not time to get the runner out at first. I think so. he kicked it, did it? Loads the bags up. How did he kick you there? No, okay, good. From pitcher Zach Green, he's gonna have to help pitch himself out of here. I think his defense let him down a little bit. Here, but one ball, two strikes. A little bit of extra work for the pitcher, and there's minor errors in the field. Ball. My Lord knows I've made a few errors playing out there, so you know you're not gonna hold it against the kids. They're out here competing and. Oh. I think once uh, once Ontario get, just kind of gets a few innings in there, they'll be fine. Ball hey, straight back. <laughs> two and two. Two balls, two strikes. Strike three. Zach Green pitches himself out of that inning and gets his poison. But Seam Sass scores a couple runs on a couple errors there. A uh, few hits for the boys, but um, Ontario's coming around. They just got to minimize the errors. Sass gets a couple for their pitcher. See the runs here coming up. Uh, overthrow there. Two in the first inning, and we got a couple in the second inning here. 
Team Ontario just needs to tighten up a little bit on the, uh, the, the minor errors that they're making. Uh, not horribly costly, but, uh, you know, uh, a run adds up, uh, you know, after 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 a few. And uh, uh, I, I, I'm hoping and uh, I'm looking to see them uh, tighten that up. Yeah, if Ontario can get a couple runs here, you know, put something on the board, put a little bit of pressure on Saskatchewan, you know. Like I said, it's as, as a fastball player, it's a whole different situation when you get runners on base. The tension level goes up, and and uh, errors no seem to come that's, that's a little the, more. I guess that's the mag order. Because you usually. It's and of course, you take a look at the the field there. You got a large number of um, uh, fans from both Ontario and Saskatchewan. Uh, it's good, really good to see large large contingent of uh, of fans uh, cheering on both Team Saskatchewan, Team Ontario. And of course, uh, access communications. The uh, the two people. Here, uh, you know, Evan and I were uh, looking forward to, to not only bringing, commentating today, but uh, on, on Thursday as well. Center fielder settles under the ball for the out. Ken Capo and center fielder, is, you can catch a fly ball. That's what your outfielders need to do. Uh, you know, being an outfielder myself, it, people always think it's an easy position to play, but when you get the high fly, hit the, uh, sometimes things don't go your way out there because it takes a little bit of concentration to bring those ones in. So. Nonetheless, we got one away here. Lanny knots your batter, Team Ontario. Don't forget you people watching on uh, Cable 7 uh, for, with access communication. At 8 o'clock every evening, you can watch a recap of uh, a, a number of highlights from a number of different sports happening throughout the day in Regina at the North American Digital Team. And we're here today at the under 16 boys softball between Team Ontario and Team Saskatchewan. Hard single by Knott there. Hit that one right on the nose and Ontario has a base runner here. See if they can do something with their with their uh, base runners. Lanny Knott from the, uh, the Curve Lake First Nation. Both a, uh, a softball player and a baseball player and uh, he's been playing both for four years right now. You know, this morning I was watching uh, Team California versus Team Saskatchewan baseball. And there's another single there. Ontario has got some runners in scoring position. Nice little single. Standing up at second. Uh, I was watching Good. California and Saskatchewan this morning. I was talking to the Team California players, and they were saying they're actually predomin predominantly fastball players. They're just playing baseball because that was, all, that was the only really? team coming. So. But they they uh, they beat Saskatchewan this morning pretty easily, and, and they definitely can play they can play some ball, whether it's baseball or fastball. It's one of those things, also, when you're very much uh, you know, there's kind of a small difference between baseball and softball to the point where uh, obviously a different ball and uh, different tactics that you, that you obviously use, a few minor different rules that they have, but. Uh, uh, Saskatchewan, obviously a, a great big uh, fastball uh, uh, community. And, but uh, whenever we're able to participate, if we're able to play baseball, we'll do that as well. As long as it's ball. Ricky Holes, your batter for Team Ontario. He's, uh, he's down one ball, two strikes right now. There we go. Ricky Hool. Paints inside corner. Rat Portage First Nation, 14 year old. Been playing since he was a seven year old. Ashton Burns rung him up there looking. Bring him to the plate now, your third baseman, Mason Martin. Well, Mason's not looking at any pitches. He's in there swinging. Ontario can just get a little single here. Yeah, good swing by uh, Mason. Mason Martin, member of the Six Nations tribe in southern Ontario. Yeah, if anyone wants to give us a follow on Twitter, uh, Kak Kanuck, K-A-H-K-A-N-U-C-K. -K give you a shout out. Uh, you can do us on Facebook as well. Uh, I'm Evan Boy, tape that on Facebook. We'll definitely give you guys a little shout out because uh, all you fans watching at home, we know some of you want to be here but just can't be here for whatever reasons. And I've been sitting at home before and I've gotten a shout out over here. Makes, makes it a little more fun sitting at home. 
there's only only so much talking that we can do. We got to throw in oh, some yeah, social media stuff, and uh, you know, let's utilize technology the way we're, we're supposed to. Well, I'm actually a Morley Watson product, so I can probably talk all day, but. You're, yeah, you're doing pretty good, yes. Uh, there's no doubt I've had coffees with him, and he could, uh, usually after we're done coffee, my, my ear is laying on the floor because he's talking well, you, often. He's one of those guys, you can never really see him, but you can always <laughs> exactly. hear him, right? And that's Morley Watson Absolutely. for you. Nice pitch from oh, Mark nice. there. Goes down, gets himself on out. On, Ricky Hill, or Mason Martin, goes down swinging. Ontario strands too. They had runners in scoring position there. Just, just no luck right now. Um, after two and a half innings, Sask four, Team Saskatchewan four, and Ontario zero. Did you get fly down or bust down? Bust down. We went to, uh, I went to Cowichan in 08. We bust down there, and that was, uh, I think it was 27. Don't, don't forget to check out. Uh... Oh, yeah. Don't forget to check out the uh, the cultural village uh, with the North American Digits Games at the at the First Nations University, and uh, you'll you'll be able to uh, catch us uh, uh, throughout the week as well, uh, commentating softball. Good game here so far between Team Saskatchewan and Team Ontario. Uh, Team Saskatchewan up four nothing after after two innings. We're here at Rambler Park in Regina, Saskatchewan at the North American Indigenous Games. Yeah, my good buddy, uh, good buddy uh, Justin Delorme just walked in. I'm pretty sure he just came from court, though. He's looking... He's got those number ones on, eh? So, anyway, Chuba's in the house. Back here, we got a beautiful day, beautiful ball game, beautiful. Lots of fans. Me and Lyle are on the air. We're, I guess we're second timers now. We did that first game. Second timers were veterans. There shouldn't veterans. be no oh, exactly. mistakes. Exactly. We're, we're going to be okay. Wait till I see everyone later. They'll be saying, you should have said this. You should have said that. Uh, that father of yours, Morley, must have been an intense player. Look at the intensity wow. on him as a, as a coach. Picking up that ball, looking around and smiling and waving to the fans. And, Oh, he's a, he was a hell of a ball player, Morley. I remember he was a kid who used to watch him. And most intense, he really was the most intense ball player out there. Yeah. Played third base, and he got right in there, and he wasn't scared of anybody. Okay, young cap was up to bat here, catch one here. Center fielder made a couple of nice catches out there. Oh, lines out to the pitcher for one out. Zach Green kind of just said, I'm going to take this and get myself one out here. My good friend uh, Caleb Isaac is listening out there. I think he's probably in White with Saskatchewan. He said, you may as well throw your Snapchat name out there too. <laughs> ah, so that's a little much there, you know. Yeah, let's just hand, just, just not get carried away. <laughs> Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, yeah, everything. Well. Anyway, how you doing out there, Caleb? Nice to see your online social, social media. Young Wadidika's up the plate. He was on last inning. He scored a run for his team. Of course, talking about uh, social media, we got uh, access communications on Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Whenever you use uh, any tweets, make sure you add the hashtag, hashtag uh, NAG2014. Or if you're looking at the uh, the handle or the uh, the name for uh, Twitter uh, for my my access uh, is at my access CA on, on Twitter and. Uh, Play by the first baseman there, Dylan Jordan.
Martin, nice little snag, goes over and touches the base. Uh, this is the kind of ending Ontario needs. They need a kind of a one up, two up, three down, you know, kind of. They, uh, they got to get out here with minimal damage and then they can get, get themselves back on the sticks and hopefully get themselves a couple of runs. Because they're, they're a good looking team, they just got to minimize the errors and they're doing that right now. So let's uh, knock on wood there and. Yep, absolutely. Lead off batter back up here, Nick Bazarabo. His third time up, already three up, three innings. He's come up once every inning. You know your team's having a good day when that happens. Oh, nice hit. Yeah, that Bazarabo is a nice little, nice little player. Hard single right up the middle. Can't hit a ball harder than that. You guys watching, you guys listening online, don't be afraid oh. to uh, send us a tweet. Uh, Yep. At, at Lyle W. Daniels or uh, Evans, uh, uh, what's, what's yours at again? At Kak Anak, K-H-K-A-N-U-C-K. Kak Anak. We'll give a shout out to uh, Dylan Jordine Spence, uh, number 44 from his mom and dad and, uh, and uh, his four sisters from Fort William, Ontario. So they're very proud family listening and uh, uh, or, or watching online probably to his uh, to, to, to their boy. Uh, very proud family. So uh, cheer on your, your son from, from afar. We've been everywhere to Nuvik today, Ontario. Yeah. There's another single. Single by Blaze Arcan there brings her on uh, Wadidika. Wadidika's running for um, for the catcher there, Bazaraba. So Bazaraba can go put his stuff, uh, his catching gear on. Well, Saskatchewan is uh, in scoring position now. Maybe we shouldn't have jinxed Team Ontario. Brings to plate the, the pitcher Ashton Burns. Oh. And don't forget to add uh, with uh, Access Communications on Twitter, um, at MyAccessCA uh, for game updates and uh, constant information on the North American Digital Games. Nice shot off the middle. Single up the middle there. Scores one. Arcan over to third. Pitcher Burns gives himself a little more help there. Bill oh. Bellegarde's up the bat. Pokes out another single there. Brings in another run. Good job. It's two good. score descending for uh, Saskatchewan. They're, they're up. So things were looking so good for Ontario there, and then he went and jinxed them. Six nothing at the top of the third. Time's gone. Two out. Come, bud. Coach for Ontario is going to go out and have a little chat with his pitcher, Zach Green, just to see how things are going. See our good friend Chad Ghostkeeper here from, uh, he's coaching the BC team. He's one of the players for Randy's A's uh, out of Invermere, BC, and them too. They're, they're going to the ISC tournament in Ontario, so nice to see, uh, it's nice to see when the older ones coach a little bit, you know. I always bug some of my friends, eh? they try to play the game too long and tell them get coaching. And Chad's not one of those guys, so. Ontario coach is going to leave uh, Zach in. A little chat with him to see how he's feeling. Got to get him out. Got to get themselves out of this inning somehow. Yep. Oh. Damon George is your batter. Hey, Some of the people not too keen on Twitter, so of course they take to Facebook and uh, start. Uh, Adding us as uh, friends, and uh, Luana Redwood wanted to give a shout out to Gilly, Gilly Gilbert uh, Belgard from Uncle Pat and Auntie Lu Lu Luana from Port, Port Chippewan, nice. Alberta. It's way up there. So they're uh, able to uh, utilize our technology online and uh, watching this game uh, live. Gilly's got himself a couple singles this game already, so 
So keep cheering up there in Fort Chip. Gilly's, Gilly's playing, hitting the ball well. Young Zach here is battling on a mound. He's, oh, there is this change oh, up nice. there. Nice change up. Nice, nice pitch, nice change up. You know, as a batter, you know, uh, young Damon in there is wondering, do am I going to get the change up again or am I going to get, you know, the gas? And those change ups kind of throw you off because you never know what's coming now. Going to come with it again and come with gas. Ball. Ball. Well, fans didn't like that one. They thought that one was a strike. It was close. Three balls, two strikes. Can't really tell from here, but it looked close. Oh, nice pitch by Zach. Sawed him off there, got him right on the inside of the plate. Those are the kind of the ones that vibrate right down the hands. See FSI and FSI and Chief Perry Belgard's in the house. Came and goes down looking. There's a nice pitch by Zach, gets himself out of the inning. <clears throat> I see a nice little crowd to the right here. Perry Belgard shaking hands as any good politician would do. Arlen Uzitschpieter was commentating on baseball this morning. So he's here helping out any way he can. In the seventh spot there? Yep. You see a few changes coming up for Team Saskatchewan. They're up a few runs. They're going to try to get some of their bench in. They have... Uh, they have five players on their bench, so they're they're, they're going to try to get some of their guys in. You know, you get up a few runs, it's kind of how the game works. You want to get some guys in. Uh, these athletes have been sitting since since basically Sunday, right? They haven't really played much, so they're all chomping at the bit a little bit. Well, and they're consistently getting a couple of runs per inning uh, after three, and uh, Ontario still uh, is looking to score, but here's an opportunity for them to uh, uh, try and uh, gain, gain a little bit and... Uh, um, I think, uh, you know, if they get to, off to a quick start here, they might uh, make this one a, um, a game. But they got to start moving now. Yeah, let's see what Ontario can do, because, you know, the, the previous game was the mercy rule in effect here, so um, hopefully Ontario can score a couple runs here. Make this game interesting. So when uh, we uh, continue to broadcast here for Access Communications, we will uh, um, bring out a number of different games throughout the week. Uh, uh, check out the schedule on uh, myaccess.ca uh, online, and uh, you can catch this. You can catch this online and uh, and or on Cable 7 with Access. Ontario batter up here is one and one on the count. <laughs> pitcher Zach Green batting. You know, in the sport of fastball, uh, pitchers always like batting against other pitchers. It's there. Number of uh, players from Team Ontario from Six Nations. Zach is uh, definitely one of them. <laughs> two balls, two strikes. Pitcher Ashton Burns from Team Saskatchewan. You're trying to put away pitcher Zach Green from Ontario. Falls it off. Didn't like it. Falls it off. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you couldn't ask for a better day for fastball right now. Absolutely. A little bit of clouds coming in right now. That's good. Keep the players nice and cool. Zach's battling up there. Be nice if Ontario get a couple base runners here, put some pressure on. Team Sask has had it pretty easy out there so far, you know. <clears throat> Hadn't been under the uh, under any much pressure. Well. Another foul ball. Down the first baseline, there's a lot of Ontario fans set up over there. Can't really see it on there if any of our any of them are the Saskatchewan fans. But. Come on. 
Zach Green batting. Four. A little high, a little high. Three and two is the count. A little high. One of the uh, perks of listening here is you can hear the umpires really good. There's a microphone behind home plate, so you can hear what the umpire is saying to the bat catcher, and he said a little high there. Four. Four. Zach Green earns himself a base there. Nice, nice at bat. He was down early in strikes and came back and earned himself a, a walk. Now he's, a, he's on base for the leadoff batter, Liam Aaron. Another Six Nations product. Ball. Yeah, traditionally in the game of basketball, you, you bunt the guy over, but now when you're down six runs, you know, you know, you don't really want to be bunting giving away out. So we'll see if, uh, if, if young Aaron swings away here. And kind of a, a gaffe by <laughs> the pitcher there. Kind of throw something and he didn't throw it. So runner moves to second. Now the young Aaron should be swinging away. Oh. Three balls. Three balls on the batter. Oh. Three balls, one strike on your batter, Liam Aaron. Young Leon's from Six Nobody. Nations. Thirteen-year-old. These players are so young, eh? Three. There's a strike. Three and two. Three ball. Two strikes. Now this is the top of the order for Ontario, so you know the, the better batters are usually at the top. So we can get some runners on for these guys at the top. Liam goes down swinging there to give him one away. Bringing to the plate Dylan Jordan Spence from Fort William First Nation. I take it this is a uh Shout, shout out for a sh shout out for Austin Jack from the Big Grassy First Nation in Ontario. Congrats to you, Austin, for your representation of Ontario. Play hard and have fun from your mom and dad. Very proud parents. Most likely li listening back home in uh, in Six Nations or in Southern Ontario. Online, live streaming. Dylan was beamed last time up there, so he's gone on to first base. Uh, Cole, catcher Cole is up right now. Oh. Shout out coming for some of his family as well from uh, Pinewood, Ontario. Uh, Cole Timkin from oh. Families and Friends. Again, uh, 11, after 11 a.m., uh, the next day after our, our live broadcast, you can pick up a DVD copy of the game that you are watching or uh, watching online uh, by live streaming at myaccess.ca uh, backslash NAIG. Coach Marley Watson's out talking to his young pitcher here, just making sure they're on the same page, what they need. Um, you know, times like these, usually the you know, the, the coach just wants to reassure the guy you have a six-run lead. You know, don't be scared to throw them over the plate, and you got a good defense behind you. And let them do their thing. So uh, let's let's try to refrain from walking, guys. But we'll see. Uh, we'll see how uh, young Ashton Burns bounces back here. I don't know. There obviously is a you know strategy when it comes to uh, you know how, how many people you know how many runs they are ahead versus versus not and. Uh, whether or not, you know, with two people on, on base, uh, what's the usual call? Well, you know, as a batter, when you get up there too, you know, you 
at this point, you know, this guy's he's the third batter in the in the batting lineup, so he's definitely a good batter, right? So he wants to get the ball and play. Whereas the guys in the outfield, they just want to be on your toes. Uh, you want to knock it down. You want to touch any bag right now, because run around first and second, right? Hit the third base. You want to throw it to the third base, touch the bag. So it's uh, all the options are there. They just got to get the ball. Sometimes part of the problem is that the pitcher doesn't put the ball over the plate, right? Mm -hmm. So he needs to throw some strikes here. And of course, Cole Tipkin is uh, uh, a Métis. Métis from Ontario. Pops it up. Oh, and keeps his captain all over runs. The pop fly out in right stand field. Up, stand up. And Team Ontario is able to score a couple of runs. Well, just one oh. run. Oh, actually two. Yep, 6-2. Just the one, I think. Hey, uh, hey, Team hey, Ontario. Hey. Um, Check them back, boys. Check them back, boys. Anyways, uh, an error by the outfielder there. Uh, like I said, outfielder is playing hard than than people think it is, right? They go oh, put the guy in the outfield. It's easy. No, it's not. Ball goes up in the air. You know, you got to get a lot of coordination going there. Oh. Yeah, you just can't just sit there. You gotta be. No, uh, you gotta be moving all times. Moving around and then also sort of timing it properly. And you also have to worry about the runners that are running around the base and where you're gonna throw it to. So, uh, young outfielder Tabry still there made a little bit of an error, but you know his team is up. His team is up six one still. So, pressure's not completely on right now. So. Better. One foot in the ball, please. Give me one foot in the ball. Austin Jack is the batter, you know, hitter for Ontario. So. We'll see if Austin can cash in a couple of runs here. Over in the other game right now, uh, it's Alberta 11, BC 2 in the bottom of the fourth inning. So Alberta's having a good day over on Diamond 2. Uh, two balls, no strikes. Austin Jack batting. One away. Well, I guess I was a little slow on that one there. Right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Any of you people at home that want a shout out, you let us know on Twitter. Lyle will give you a shout out to myself, Will, or on Facebook with either or. Austin Jack loops it out to center field. It's going to score two runs. Ontario's on the board again. Austin Jack with a single scoring two runs. Get, get him back in the game, 6-3. All it takes is a couple of bats, and next thing you know, they're halfway to tying this game up, 6-3. You know, Ontario was looking for something there, and unfortunately, the air by the outfielder gave him life, and oh, here, you know, here they are three runs later. You know, basically, one air, a couple of little small singles. And they're still not done batting. <laughs> Lenny, Lenny not to batter. Ball. Good try, good try. Come on, come on now. Austin Jack Good. makes it to second. Austin Jack from Big Grassy, First Nation, 15-year-old. Like Austin got a little bit of an injury there on that last play. Slid into second. You know, these young athletes are, you know, definitely prone to injury. He was watching a basketball game last night. Young team Manitoba guy. MCL, ACL, something in his knee gave out on him there. And it was, uh, it was not good to see, but, you know, he picked himself up and put himself in the, in the wheelchair. And... Short little medical break with uh, Austin Jack uh, nursing a slight injury from uh, sliding into second. 
while we're waiting for him there. We got another uh, another lady from Prince Albert, Saskatchewan following. Yeah, let's go white. Carmen McLeod, you super woman on Twitter. Um, nice that you're following up there. Hi, way up in Prince Albert. All right, back to the action here. Lenny knots the bat. That's my uh, my good friend Frida Seed Sparvy just showed up in the house here. She's a you know in our our September to June jobs. We're both principals of schools, so see Seed just Seeds is just sitting there enjoying the game. Looking at uh, Twitter right now. Uh, Carmen Cloud, uh, a uh, Sioux, obviously a uh, 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 from Opaton, uh, Dakota Nation, uh, just close by Prince Albert, giving a shout out to uh, Alex Wadika. Mm, the ballpark. Is this single ever going to score another Ontario run? Lanny not. Ontario is right back in this game. Started the inning down 6-zip, now it's 6-4. Just like that. Just like that. And uh, one air, a couple singles, and here they got life. If I was able to sort of uh, analyze uh, some um, what I've seen in this last inning is uh, uh, all the errors from the outfield. Um, uh, trying to judge it. Uh, sometimes you get uh, a little bit uh, Turned around. Set, in your, set in your ways when you're 6-0, and <laughs> you got to stay on your toes. Yes, you do. I, I play a little bit outfield for the boys when they need help, and it's one of those things where sometimes you end up chasing your tail, looking around. Oh, nice catch oh. by Chapel in center field. His pitcher needed that. His team needed that. Uh, needed that help there. Nice play. All right, coming to the plate is Ricky Hull. First baseman, Ricky Hull. Rat Portage First Nation. Fair ball, fair ball down the first baseline. Ricky Hull with an RBI single, 6-5. Making it a game. Just like that, making it a game 6-5 for Team Saskatchewan. Team Saskatchewan just slowly building their lead and then all of a sudden, Team Ontario comes back and they're with five quick runs to make it 6-5. Well, Coach Marley Watson is going to make a pitching change here. Burns is out. We'll see what they're bringing in here. Well, we take a little break. Uh, so, uh, what, what's some other sports you're going to take in while you're here? Well, um, I'm, I'm helping out the uh, the host society with uh, at, the, at the mission office. You know, every every once in a while, you know, people don't see sort of the the the, uh, the background stuff that goes on. There's a lot of um, uh, a lot of intricate things that happen that need to happen to make these games go on. And every once in a while, we get to, you know the odd problem here and there. And uh, the mission office is there to 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 distribute information to all the mission teams that are, that are there. Like I said, there's uh, pretty close to 26 teams that are here, and uh, and b being able to to get that information and communicate properly to all those teams is, is a really important aspect of the of the North America Digital Game. So, um, and not only am I a sponsor, the Saskatchewan Building um, Trades. Council, uh, we are a Sky Platinum um, partner with uh, with the games, um, but at the same time, being involved in in the North America Digits Games in, in the past, I wanted to make sure I gave my my time as a volunteer to be able to help out where I can, just from my past experience. But at the same time, um, realizing the importance it is for our young people in our communities. So, with the pitching change, we got uh, the third, third baseman moving over to uh, to pitching. Yeah, it's Saskatchewan needs a little bit of a shake up here. They started out fine, they put the guard down for a bit, and now they're, they're, they find themselves back in the ball game. Young Trey Bears from Wachap Place, good little ball player, can play anything, can pitch. Comes in throwing a strike.
Nice pitch by Trey. Mason Martin's a batter. Comes in throwing a little more, a little more gas. I've been waiting for somebody to say gas. One of my claim to fame, Evan, was background for the Corner Gas movie that just, <laughs> that just wrapped up just south of Regina here. Pretty excited about it. I was able to, you know, you, you go, you, go to, you, you see Corner Gas, you see background people in the restaurant. Yeah. I was lucky enough to be chosen to do that. Nice. And, uh, and uh, so in November, when the Corner Gas movie comes out, uh, I got to give a plug out for uh, Corner Gas movie on Twitter and, uh, and make sure when it does come out, you guys check out this little dark guy uh, in the so background. you do have a face for it. I don't, you know, <laughs> not, not, not enough to be actually totally that close <laughs> to the camera when it comes to a movie. But uh, it's uh, but but uh, as background, you're kind of like a fly on the wall, eh? so it's, uh, but it's still exciting. I spend a lot of time with uh, it's kind of starstruck, uh, you know, uh, hanging out with the corner gas. It's still uh, a great opportunity, and, uh, one of those ra rare opportunities that you get to never mind, uh, you know, commentating at a, 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 a ball game, but being able to uh, be a part of something special from Saskatchewan is, is an honor as well. Changing up now, we are looking at uh, uh. A game that suddenly became really close. Uh, it was looking like a blowout and potentially a, uh, I, I don't like to say uh, uh, mercy because you know, you, you don't want to jinx anything. And no. uh, you know, you know that's just the way ball players are that, uh, but you know, I was, I was thinking about that in the back of my mind, but uh, suddenly just like that, uh, with some shots out in, into, into the outfield, uh, Team Ontario has fought back to make it 6-5. And uh, this is actually a game now. And, uh, and it's only gonna get better. Yeah, young Trey Bear came in there for, uh, for, for Team Sass and kind of outed the, outed the rally for Ontario. So they're back at her. They're back on the sticks now. Um, it's a beautiful game of fastball. It's all about putting the ball in play and playing some defense and playing some offense. And we'll see what Saskatchewan can do right now. Uh, Trey Bear is up to bat. So we'll see if he can get himself a, a rally going. Still on the mound battling, he's back in the game. Team got him a few runs. Nice, just got that nice little change up there. Six five, Saskatchewan. Young Trey's in there. Third baseman turn pitcher. There's that nice change up from Zach. Two balls, two strikes. Once you get in there and he throws that, you got a little bit of mind games go after that. See our good friend Three Chad, goalkeeper, is now listening. Work must be back in his air conditioned room. Chad. Seen you at the ball diamond here. Good to see you. Oh. Fly ball caught from the left fielder. Let's see if Bontier can get themselves back on the sticks while they got the momentum going here. Brandon Watson's the batter for Team Saskatchewan. Young Brandon's uh, so grandson to Morley. Grandson. Yeah. Here's that change up. Sneaks that in every once in a while. And, uh, well, I think my nephew Brandon's kind of wondering what's going to, what's, what's coming, coming next? <laughs> Still inside. Two 
of that changeup so good. Brandon threw his bat right to the backstop. Big swing. <laughs> Got one of my haters here on Facebook coming to check me out, and uh, the legend Rick Charette is in the house. <laughs> He's looking for the beer gardens. <laughs> Team Sask six up six five. Top of the fourth, two out. Yeah. Young Cap was up to bat now. Oh. Center fielder made a couple nice catches out there. Nice young ball player, this guy. Cap was from Muscapeding. Or Skunk Hollow, I think is what they what they call it as well. Skunk. Just the kind of inning that Ontario needed right there. Three up, three down. Get themselves back on the sticks. And they're going to be, uh, they got the momentum right now, and that's that's a dangerous thing to have when you're in basketball, you know. We'll see how uh, Team Sask can rebound here in the outfield. So after three and a half complete innings, uh, Saskatchewan is leading 6-5 over Ontario. Uh, Saskatchewan started out nice and hot. And Ontario had won that one hot, nice inning. Very good. Come on now, here we go. It was 6-0 uh, six six right now, 6-0 six six before, and then just with one simple inning getting five runs, it's suddenly become a game, and 6-5 uh, keeps yeah. Saskatchewan. You know, Lal, I'm looking around for this Access 7 communication booth food it's only 22, buffet. Days, but I don't see it. Yeah, you know what, I don't think we're movie stars. Well, I'm going to ask April there. She said there was a food buffet involved in this, this gig. <laughs> She's laughing at me right now. I think that... She lied to us. Anyway, young Trey Bears back on a mound here. We'll see if they can have one of those shut down one, two, three innings. We're getting into the nitty gritty here, the fourth, fifth inning. When you get in there, that's when the game starts. Kind of a chess game between the managers. Where about you guys from? All over? Five like by Hamilton, kind like you were saying earlier, Evan, the, uh, the um umpire is mic'd for sound, and uh, yeah. umpire having a little That's conversation great. with one of the Six Nation boys who's batting up next. Yeah, it's nice to see. You know, you you just see when they talk, you think it's negative all the time. And, you know, we're here listening. It's a good positive thing from the umpire. Asking the boys where they're from. And, uh, Zach brings up the bat here. Oh. Just talking about Six Nations. Just had the uh, had the pleasure of watching Team Iroquois play on PSN. They were playing at the World Field Across Championships last week. A couple of my a couple of my good friends, Jeremy Thompson and Alex Kettle Hill, play for Iroquois, and it was nice to see them on TV. Won the bronze, and uh, not quite what they wanted, but still, it was their their highest placing ever. So. Young Trey finds himself down here, three balls, no strikes. See if he can throw some strikes here for his boys. Ontario got the start they needed, they're on. Got a runner on. Tying a run on first after a uh, walk. Bringing up the top of the order again uh, with number 66, Liam Aaron from Six Nations. Youngest guy on the team. Young Liam's going to be a hell of a ball player. He'll be a leadoff man, be the youngest guy on the team. It says a lot about him. Come on, Honestly, here we go. Good sometimes you can now. just tell sort of the leadership some of these young guys have, and uh, he seems to sort of. Uh, uh, have that coming from him right now. Hey, Slowly swinging away in there. Atta boy, atta boy, atta boy. Atta boy. Atta boy. 
Okay. Oh, uh, runner Zach Green was called on the leadoff there. We got one ball here, one the rule is you cannot leave, steal the next base, leave for the next base until the ball is left the pitcher's hand. One check. So scratch the uh, tying run on first. Nice play by Gilbert Bogart. Nice pickup. Throw over to first. Two away. My friend uh, Faith Dawn is Nana McNabs on watching the game somewhere. And they're telling me that Faith was one of those little bisons that was dressed up there. I'm not sure, but. One of those little buffalo bisons there for the day. Yeah, I yeah. think that was her, that one. So, Faith, you know, if, you're, if that's you, you know, keep doing it. You know, you're running around lots. Ball. You hugging some guys there, though, so make sure that husband of yours is always right near. Oh. Young Trey's coming here and kind of settle down this, this rally they had. Ontario had, so he's doing his part here in the bottom of the fourth inning. Hey. Nice pitch. Tune on. Tune on. Number 44 for Team Ontario, Dylan Jordan Spence from the Fort William First Nation, 16 year old. Two balls, two strikes. Come on, we stick, get it here. Oh, nice change up from Trey to end the inning. That's the pitch you want to throw right then and there, Adam, guessing the whole way. So yes, we got ourselves a ball game here. After four complete innings, the score is Saskatchewan 6, Ontario 5. Heading in, uh, these are seven inning games, so we're ready for a treat for these final three innings. Have you taken any of the cultural village? Oh yeah, uh, you know, as a major sponsor for the games, we uh, every evening they have the VIP uh, reception, uh, usually from about four to six o'clock every evening, uh, where you can taste a little bit of the uh, food. The, the sous chef was the uh, uh, was the was was the food that we had uh, last night, and of course we have uh, entertainment uh, right at the Cultural Village uh, every evening, uh, hosted by uh, uh, none other than Andrea Menard, a uh, famous uh, singer, uh, uh, actress, and uh, and so it's great to have the, the great talent that we have uh, coming from Saskatchewan to be able to be a part of uh, the North American Digital Games and the Cultural Village. Well, how do I get in on this VIP tasting thing? <laughs> well, you know what? Uh, very easy. As a sponsor, we'll get you a tag. We'll get you a tag, and we'll, we'll get you there food. tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. It's happening so fast, I don't know what the score is. <laughs> and I'm still looking for this buffet the line that Access 7 promised us, but I don't think it's coming here. But we're good on the water, and that's the we're main good thing, on right? Water. Yeah, we're filling up on water. You guys, with our build, we can last a while. <laughs> exactly. A few days without food. <laughs> But I'm still looking at my assistant here. She'll, she'll come back over there. So we hit to the uh, top of the fifth inning here. Saskatchewan coming to the plate. Now we start getting in back into those bunting situations. The runner gets on. We may have to bunt him over. You know, it was 6 nothing. We weren't really bunting. Now we get in there. It's uh, every run is crucial now. And Talking up a little strategy now and, uh, you know, tightening up and... Uh, 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 the playing and uh, to try to minimize any mistakes that uh, they need to make. Zach Green still out there throwing just as hard as he was first inning. You know these Ontario pitchers is obviously Ontario home. Darren Zach and all that they they grow them pitchers pretty good. Pretty talented changeup. That's uh, quite the throw he has. Nice pitch. Zach's up, one ball, two strikes on the batter. Kind of settling in, everyone's settling in now for, you know, standing on deck for Saskatchewan though, is their leadoff batter, and he's been hitting good, so. Young Bazarab on deck. 
thought the corner was a little high. There's that changeup. Nice pitch by Zach Green. You know you get fooled by those changeups when you're either way behind or really quick, and uh, that was evident there. All right, Nick Bazarab is up, leadoff batter for Team Sask. Swinging a hot bat right now. There's that changeup. That's a huge miss there. Usually the, the way it works out, you know. Next one's a single somehow, or next he gets on somehow. It's that simple. Oh, that yeah. simple and uh, all that uh, turning point, and uh, that's uh, the one thing you want to uh, take advantage of if you get an, if you get an opportunity. Nice snag from the shortstop, number 10, from Team Ontario. Yeah, that's Isaiah, Isaiah Aaron. Isaiah Aaron, another Six Nations product who has uh, been playing for since he's uh, since he was five years of age. You can tell by the way he snapped that up and chucked it to uh, first base. Yeah, Bazarab was a quick runner down the line, so he had to come up throwing, and he did it. Blaze Arcan's your batter. Blaze 2 has got on. Let's throw at the game, so he's a good batter. Oh. See if Zach uh, can kind of change him up with that chain and get in his head a little bit. Yes, and into the crowd of fans yes. there. Yeah, it's a beautiful day. It's nice to see everybody out here cheering for their teams. Welcome, and Lincoln. Manitoba's warming up on deck here. They must have the six o'clock game and the other diamonds going. Uh, I think Alberta was up Welcome lots a little bit over BC on the other one. And got some signs out here for Trey Bear and Hold up, some baby. Ontario fans. And Two and one. Here you go, Here you go. Oh. Blaze falls her off to stay alive. For you people watching uh, online streaming or uh, uh, watching a cable seven in Regina and or any place where uh, access is being picked up, uh, don't forget to uh, check out uh, online at uh, www.access uh, or myaccess.ca slash or backslash uh, NAIG or for, for NAG and uh, check out the, the broadcast schedule. It'll show you up and coming games that they're going to be broadcasting and uh, don't be afraid to come back on and t take in some live streaming or watching it live on Cable 7. All right, Ashton Burns is up to the plate. You're in the heart of the order here, 3-4 coming up. See if we can put together, a, string together a few runs here. A couple hits anyway. Yeah, it's going to be nice to get over to the cultural village tonight. I think that's where I'm going to head right after this. See what kind of food we can get into and see who's playing on the main stage. Absolutely. Uh, I think Inez Jasper is on tonight. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. good. Perfect. According to the schedule. Yeah, if you're heading down to Cultural Village, though, uh, take some off. The mosquitoes, yeah, were, there. The mosquitoes were very, very... Carrying away some little kids. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah, they're, yeah. They're, that, they're that bad, so uh, uh, make sure you're prepared. Nice pitch. Yeah, this young Zach has impressed me. You know, your team gets down 6 nothing. The easiest thing to do for a young guy is quit. Pretty solid. You can tell he's uh, full of leadership and... Uh, Hanging in there. He's battling. He's, he's a good batter, too, so he's got a little bit of everything there. Is that change up. That's three away. Ontario gets out of the inning. Unscathed. No runs against. Couple of hits. Uh, but we're still going to head in the bottom of the fifth inning. Ontario is down by one, so we'll see if they string together a few runs. 
And Trey is still on the mound. Yeah, it was nice to see the second baseman there picked it up. He got moved over to second from shortstop because he made a few on, errors in first inning. He seems to have those errors out of his system. So a nice little pickup there. And pull up and settling down. They're both, they're both settling down and. Uh, uh, you know, take a look at Team Saskatchewan. They had the, uh, the, the, the consistent two runs for the first, second, and third inning. Uh, shout out to his last couple, but uh, Ontario coming back with five in the third inning, and uh, we are at the bottom of the fifth coming up. Going to turn into a really good finish with uh, Team Ontario at bat, number six. Cole Tipkin. Catcher Cole Timken. Métis, First Nations and uh, Métis are, are usually the, 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 the people that are part of the North American Digital Games in Canada, but, but uh, in Northern Canada you have the Inuit, Inuit as well, and, uh, uh, and of course in the uh, United States you've got uh, well, our, our equivalent of First Nations, which is Native American, and uh, so Cole Timken is a uh, 31 for 24. Métis from the, uh, he's a member of the Sunset uh, Country Métis out of Fort Francis, like I was talking about earlier. In the three spot, 24 out, 31 in. Some changes coming from Morty Watson, the coach from Team Saskatchewan to the Empire. And we are gonna get started into the uh, bottom of the fifth. Pulls the batter, bottom of the fifth inning here. We're getting into the nail-biting innings here. Young Trey Bear from Wachapoy is still on the mound. Score is uh, bottom of the fifth inning here. We have Saskatchewan leading Ontario 6-5. Get the signs, you can see some of the signs behind home plate. Cole showing bunt, pulling back. One of those batters would probably just want to strike against him before he gets set to really swing. Nice pitch by Trey. You know, it's day one here at the softball venue, and we're still waiting for our first home run over the fence. That's true. That's true. Haven't seen that yet. Yeah. Saw some really strong swings earlier, and... Uh... Oh, you got your glove just ready there. You were... Uh... I was... I kind of... Anticipated I it. I telepathed yeah. that. Oh, yeah, exactly. You were, uh, on your toes, waiting. <laughs> Young Cole in there batting. Two balls, two strikes. Catcher batting in the three spot. Good batter here. Cole wins the battle against Trey. Trey threw the change up and Cole wasn't fooled. playing for uh, Team Ontario on, on this, in this under-16 uh, boys Take category. Corners, corners, corners! battery or lower it's kind of funny both of our sort of went at the same time low battery so uh, <laughs> anybody trying to tweet trying to send us messages on Facebook uh, if we don't get to uh, obviously that's gonna be the reason but uh, check us check 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 out the uh, at um, my access CA uh, as, as the uh, as a as the call letters for Twitter for the access um, Twitter account and uh, by all means we'll get you out uh, all kinds of uh, information coming from the uh, the access communications uh, crew 
Are you back here, Lyle, on Thursday? I am back. We, uh, I'm actually only doing this twice, and it's with you, so uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, it should be uh, just another couple of great games coming up on Thursday, and of course, uh, check out the, uh, the, 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 the the broadcast schedule online and to find out uh, other games that are going to be on, uh, on, on on Cable 7 or uh, live streaming, but also 8 o'clock every evening, they also have a uh, highlight uh, highlight uh, uh, time where they're able to show some of the highlights of the day's events. There's a hard hit there over. Nice catch. Nice catch by the left fielder over here. Hopefully I'll just have their things together on the side of the diamond here. Yeah, I'm back up here on Thursday and then I'm going to do the finals on Saturday as well and help out a little bit and then I'm probably head down to the trap boys for the follow Oh, well, that's on this weekend yeah. too. Yeah, trap boys follow is going to go with Get us out of here right now, Trey. Come on, buddy. They moved it up. Uh, traditionally, it was in later uh, August. And they moved it up a month, so we got the new chief and council out there, made a few changes and... Well, they're going to move Didn't it up. want to coincide with the games or they sort of stay away from it and uh, yeah. have their time. <laughs> All right, we got the tying run sitting at third base and Cole Timken. Metis. Metis from Team Ontario who's looking to score. Snake. That is the nicest play we've seen today, right there. <clears throat> Still hit hard enough that he scored a run, though he did his job. Did his job, but you know what? Those Jedi reflexes that guy had. Oh, nice play. Very nice play from Team Saskatchewan. Ball was hit hard from Lenny Knott, but even a nicer play by the shortstop, Blaze Arcan. Makes it two out. Score should read 6-6. Six, six. Tying, tying the game up right now at 6-6 six, six, six for, uh, um, I, I should say. Who's the game tied up for? It's for both <laughs> of them. <laughs> Score is tie game 6-6 six, six for Saskatchewan. <laughs> oh, we got, a, we got a ball game here. That was probably the nicest catch we've seen all day. Very nice, very nice. He's, uh, Nice little ball player there, Arkan. Those are the ones, see, I bought this nice new glove last year. That's what I bought it for, to do that play. I see. I still haven't done a play like that, though, with this glove. If I was going to do that, I'd need my glove to be about three feet wide and uh, five feet long. And, uh, then I might have a chance, but, uh, and, and, and using a golf ball as a, as a ball to catch, so. First baseman's coming to, coming to bat for Ontario. Good pitch. Yeah, it's always nice as a, as a pitcher. You can get off and then get yourself off. Put the other guy behind the eight ball. As opposed to throwing a couple balls. Got himself a nice little, you know, this type of thing, you know, your coach, you try to tell him, you know, waste the couple, throw up by, see if they bite at it, throw it down low, see if they try to get a, a not a good pitch. There you go. A little too high, though. Yeah. And fastball, that one is known as, you, know, you have the rise ball, yeah. and you got the rise, rise. And that was the rise, rise, which he times two. Let's see if Trey can win this battle here. There's a changeup. 
Angel gets him out of the inning. Well, Ontario scores their one run, though. Uh, after five complete innings, the score is Saskatchewan 6, Ontario 6. And we're in for a barn burner for these last two innings. Yeah, nice catch there from Blaze Arcand at shortstop. You know, that's why shortstop, you know, they, they usually say that the shortstops get a lot of the ball, a lot of the action there. So you kind of want your best fielding guy, you know, at shortstop because they're going to get a lot of ball their way. So young Blaze came up with so far the top play that I've seen today. Take a look at the scoreboard. You, uh, We saw early in the first three innings, Saskatchewan mounting a, a lead, uh, two runs an inning, and then suddenly floodgates open for Team Ontario with five runs, and now they've settled down, trying to minimize their mistakes and uh, making it so that it's now a game at 6-6, going into the top of the sixth. Seven innings only we have here, and uh, we're going to see uh, some really good... Uh, I'm, I'm predicting this... Uh, uh, pitcher from Ontario is going to continue to stay strong and uh, show his leadership and, and keep at it. Come on, Gilbert. Young Gilbert Belgard coming to bat here. Been on base a couple times, singles. He's done his job as cleanup hitter. We'll see if he can lead off this inning. Gilbert finds himself in a little bit of a hole here. One ball, two strikes. Top of the sixth. Tied 6-6. Six, six. Exact. Nice little change up. Got him out there. That does the job. Gilbert's a tough out there. And, you know, you get by those cleanup hitters like that. You, you, you can get by them without take giving them up in and then, you yeah. definitely take them. And, uh, take them any way you can get them. Tabri still is a batter. Young Tabri from Wachap Police is a relative of mine. Say so he swings a mean bat. Big kid. Yes, he's a, he's a little bit of hockey as well. Puts the school right on Wachap Police there. Zach's got that changeup though. Sneaky changeup every think, once in a while. And, you know, uh, Zach's putting together two and two there in the first inning. They were hitting him hard. And, yeah. He just wasn't throwing his changeup. You no, know, he's throwing it a lot, so it's good for him. Back to two and two now. Good battle we have going here. All four. Avery earns his base. Pitcher Trey Bear stepping into bat. Got an update here uh, from one of the scorekeepers that the score is actually 7 6 for Saskatchewan. 7 6 for Saskatchewan, according to the home plate uh, scorekeeper. So we'll fix that on our monitor here right away. I think that might be a good prediction. Oh, nice piece of hitting. Nice piece of hitting from Trey. Maybe that's why we're in the commentary booth, because we couldn't really predict when that pitch was coming. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice to see you look over here and we see our kids on the TV screen. You know, kids from, they've been on TV before and through access communications, they're on TV. And 
great partners of the North American Indigenous Games, and you know what? They uh, they, they they raise the bar. Uh, you know, that's that's the motto of uh, the, the North American Indigenous Games. Uh, uh, they helped out and partnered with APTN. With APTN to uh, bring the the, uh, the opening ceremonies uh, to everybody in North America, and and uh, really good to be uh, uh, working with them. Well, Zach finds himself in a little bit of a, a bit of a jam here, a beanball there. Hit Brandon right on the elbow, young Brandon Watson. Little discussion happening on the pitcher's mound. Yeah. Coach is reassuring them to just get an out, boys. You know, they can tag anywhere. They can tag home plate or set anywhere. So you got to get an out here anyway. You only have one out. Got to get out of this inning somehow. It's good that they change the score to 7 6 and sure there's some people back home. And, uh, yeah. and some of the old, old veterans, ball, ball players. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Crazy commentators don't even know what score it is. And why are they commentating when they should be, you know? <laughs> they don't even know. They don't have a clue. <laughs> <laughs> As they say in Camp Sack, they don't even know. 7-6. They go out there for Zach. They got an infield pop out there. The bags are still loaded. Young Capel pops up. A couple of options here. They could. Uh... Kirkland Bouvier is, is the batter. Kirkland Bouvier from Saskatchewan. Must have been one of the subs that slipped by us there. He might have just came in too, but uh, Bouvier, of course, uh, from northern Saskatchewan. Um, most likely uh, Metis from around the, uh, the west side of Saskatchewan. Six team Saskatchewan, top of the sixth. Two out loaded bases for, for team Saskatchewan. Change up's gonna get him out of this inning, I think. was on and he came through. Now we're back to the top of the order for Team Saskatchewan. Nick Bazarab is back up. A couple of infield uh, errors there, allowing the runner to advance from first to second. Runners on second and third. Nine six. Fly ball, second base will get Ontario out of the inning, but you know, damage, damage, damage was damage. done. Eh? Damage was done. Uh, nice clutch hitting by Kirkland Bouvier to bring in two runners from Saskatchewan. But Ontario's got a couple bats left. They can get some uh, pressure on Trey and the boys. You know, you never know. Just want to do some uh, few announcements uh, again. Uh, check out the cultural cultural uh, village every night. Um, any of you people watching on uh, cable seven and or uh, watching the live streaming online, don't be afraid to contact any of your mission staff from Team Ontario or, or Team Saskatchewan. Uh, after 11 o'clock the next day, uh, after a live broadcast, you can get a copy of uh, the DVD of the game and uh, a great uh, a great copy for your kids. Uh, when uh, they come home and uh, a good opportunity for these young guys, you know, under 16, they're able to see themselves on TV and uh, it's a, probably a proud moment for family back home and 
it's uh, a great feeling for uh, for them to be able to see them uh, especially back home with uh, you know leadership here there's lots of leaders here and a lot a lot of proud people here from deep team saskatchewan to just to, to cheer them on and uh, it's, it's going to be a, a great uh, great week uh, when it comes to all the broadcasts that, that access is going to provide yeah these young kids definitely have uh, have lots to to look forward to all their memories on social media and the dvds and the broadcasts it's it's nice to see taking a look at the scoreboard again uh, uh, so we made that change from uh, from two runs um, in the first second and uh, third inning from team saskatchewan to two three and two talking uh, earlier about uh, channel seven in uh, the regina area or wherever access is i know it, i live in regina beach and we still get uh, uh, cable seven i'm a, a proud access uh, communications uh, uh, member so uh, i like their programming um, on some other channels uh, it's uh, it's channel 70 in, in hd um, um, so uh, did, I, I think that recently just 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 came out so i might have to look see it's on if it's on 70 back home so uh, just, uh, that's good. I'm really looking forward to that. There is a nice catch from Tavery. He kind of found his bearings. He last one he had his way. He kind of dropped. But this one he's back at her, so it's nice to see. He was kind of on, on his heels earlier. Yeah, yeah. Uh, he, he just got into the game, right? So yeah. you got to give him a little bit there. But nice, nice catch. Good timing. Come on, get another out right now. Giving the uh, one out. All right, pitcher Zach Green is your batter for Team Ontario. Come on, come on. Trey Bear still on the mound for Team Saskatchewan. Change up to start him. Don't mind the break in the action. Every time people, you know, we got our fans coming to take pictures of uh, me and my buddy out uh, here at uh, at the access booth. Kind of starting to be a little celebrity. Oh, exactly. You know, it happens. 9-6 Saskatchewan over Ontario right now. Uh, bottom of the sixth. One out. See, my, uh, my good friend Preston Henry just showed up here. He you know, usually shows up nine times out of ten wearing a pink shirt. And it, today isn't no different. Long fly ball out to uh, left field. Easily caught by Team Saskatchewan. Two out. Going to make it come right down to the seventh inning for, uh, for Team Saskatchewan. Saskatchewan's having the kind of inning they need right now. They got to get out here with minimal damage or none and get into the seventh. Leadoff batter Liam Aaron is up for Ontario. Obviously, Liam's a young, young guy on the team and be a, a ball player to watch out for in the future. Most these young guys may see each other again at the national level. Team Ontario, Team Saskatchewan. Um, the Aboriginal and non-Aboriginal side. Part of Softball Canada. Two outs on the top of the order. Number 66, Liam Aaron. Six Nations product. Again, the youngest uh, player for uh, Team Ontario. Nice play on first base there. Darian Cody Belger came in first baseman. A nice stretch there. Got Saskatchewan out of the inning. After six complete innings, Saskatchewan nine, Ontario six. Heading into the last inning coming up. Nice, beautiful day here in Regina. The sun's starting to head down a little bit. The a little bit cooler, eh? I, I would say it's about uh, 20, close to uh, 22, maybe the degrees. 
sun's sort of staying behind the cloud, so it's keeping it somewhat cool. The only bad thing about that is uh, bring out the mosquitoes. Who I can start to see dragonflies out here, so that, that could mean that these little pesky little mosquitoes are starting to come out. Next game, you can see the team is warming up for the 6 o'clock action. Once my, uh, once my assistant April here can find out who's playing the next game, we'll let you guys know on air. Four degrees out right now, or it feels like 26, which is uh, probably pretty darn accurate when you take a look at uh, when that sun comes out, it beats down on us pretty hard. And pitcher for Ontario still remaining in the game, who has uh, been pretty solid, even though nine runs. He wears his teammates, so yeah, you can't really yeah. fault him for some of those runs. He's a good pitcher. Come on, Zach. Fly ball out to left field from Team, team Saskatchewan, uh, one out. Still waiting, looking, looking for a home run. You can see Rambler, you can see the airplanes in the background there. Uh, Rambler Park is located right beside Regina Airport. Young Darian Cody Bellegarde is up to bat for Team Saskatchewan. Played against him in Grayson. And we a hell of a ball player. This kid pitched against us. Only 13 years old. I don't know what happens in Saskatchewan, but we sure we sure end up uh, making some pretty big kids. You know, you know these, guys, these kids are really huge. That home run hitters too. Yeah, exactly. Over on the other diamond, we have a final score. Uh, Alberta 14, BC 7, and that was under 16 male fastball. Alberta 14, BC 7, under 16 male fastball. Gil Gilbert Bellegarde up, back up to bat here. I think this is his fourth, fifth time coming up here. Good day to play for him so far. Still is the batter for Team Saskatchewan. Bellegarde on first base. Looking to be pushed over here from Tavery still. Two balls, two strikes on a batter. Two out, top of the seventh. Nine, six, Saskatchewan ahead of Team Ontario. I think that's going to fall in there. The blooper into uh, center field. Bellegarde's going to score. Nice piece of base running from Gilly. Avery still with the cut single. Just a little blooper out there is all he needed. Or this way. Bringing Trey Bear up to bat here. Come 
Six Saskatchewan beating Team Ontario under under 16 boys softball Red Rambler Park packed house here lots of people lots of spectators uh, in the stands along the fences pop up fly infield that's gonna get him out of the inning that should be three away there three out now we go to the bottom of the seventh final inning. Final at bat for Team Ontario. Chance to uh, win the game if they can get uh, four runs. There's a bit of highlights from the uh, last inning. Last at bat for Team Saskatchewan. Recapping the, uh, the, the the game so far out of the seven innings, we got uh, um, some some great batting from Team Saskatchewan early on, and then uh, floodgates opened up for for Team Ontario in the third, making uh, five runs, and then it sort of slowed up in pace after that with uh, some minor errors that was costly, and then uh, a costly error, a couple of costly errors for uh, Team Ontario to allow Saskatchewan to take a take a lead of 10-6 with last at bat here. Seventh inning here. The Ontario's down to their last. Last bit of uh, hope here, so we gotta hope they start a rally. When they got the batters coming up that they want, they got their two, three, four batters coming up. And um, you know, when you're going into a, an inning like this, uh, where you're down to your last little hope there, you wanna, you want your meat of the order coming up. So let's we'll see how they can bear here. Dylan Jordine Spence from the Fort William First Nation. Dylan did his job. He's on. It's one of those things, you know, when you're trying to protect the lead, you know, some of those little tiny things happen where you need to be really. Um, strong at, uh, at tightening up the mistakes and uh, making sure that you uh, don't do anything costly. So cautious is uh, is always a tough thing to do in, in ball, even with the with the with, with the uh, four run lead. Yeah, Ontario's got the home field advantage, so they're the last ones to bat. So if they can start a rally here, you there's nothing Saskatchewan can do, but. Open, get, get some bounces. Nice, nice cut. Catcher Cole Timken is your batter right now. Cole's played a pretty solid game today too. Oh, you gotta remember, remember he's behind the plate with all that equipment on. Yeah. So he was in there in the dead of the heat there and Last at bat, Team Ontario down 10-6 in the bottom of the seventh. Trey Bear with a huge out there. He needed that. Two more out for Team Saskatchewan to end this, but uh, Team Ontario is not giving up. Still, still a strong part of the batting order right now. Yeah, this is their cleanup hitter up right now, so. Austin Jack from the big grassy First Nation. Double play attempt is no good, but they do get the runner at second base. Two away here, so Team Sask is one out away from a 10-6 win. Come on a bat, is Lanny not hit the ball hard last time? 
Herb Lake First Nation product. Good hitter. Healthy cut from Lenny. Take it to one and one. Come on, Trey. Come on. Next game on tap here that we won't be televising, though. The next game up right after this game is New Brunswick versus Manitoba on the 16 under fastball. Boy, not much of a rest for New Brunswick. They already have to come back. Two, two hours they got, and they're right back at her. Well, here we go. We got Trey Bear, one strike away from sealing this game. A little bit low. Lanny standing in there for Team Ontario. Well, three balls, two strikes, two outs. Full count, two outs. The game's on the line. This is usually where when I was up the bat, I didn't come through. <laughs> <laughs> or I threw a uh, walk. There we go. This there should be the ball game. Oh. Oh. Big collision at center field, but uh, Team Saskatchewan catches the ball. Three outs. And uh, for the win, Team Saskatchewan wins 10-6 against Team Ontario. Now, uh, you know, we, we, we originally said this was going to be an action-packed game to the point where it uh, was going to be uh, a close game. There was uh, some minor, some minor um, uh, uh, errors in the, in the early stages, but uh, uh, both teams settled down, but at the same time, it ended up being a really good game. And uh, it came right down to the end. Well, that's what you want. You know, the first game we saw a little bit of a blowout in the second game. And we had a little bit of an elevator towards the end here. And it's good to see, right? Absolutely. Absolutely. Here's a little bit of a... You see the last out coming up here. Uh, Kirkland Bouvier moving in there. Thanks to catch. A little bit of miscommunication, but that'll come in time. You know, as the reps go on here next day and the next day, you know, they they get those little things out of the way. A couple of errors. Like they, they three runs off errors in the first inning. So, the, so uh, Evan, uh, great, great working with you today. Uh, you, I like the fact that you're well knowledge, knowledgeable in, in, in softball. You have a, a keen understanding of it as a player. Um, and uh, I look forward to uh, access uh, continuing to cover uh, a good part of uh, uh, the sports that are happening at the North American Digits Games. We are done for today. We will uh, be back. And uh, any last words uh, on uh, on Team Saskatchewan and, and Team Ontario? No, it's uh, it's it's it was a good day here at the Ball Diamond. It's the first day of uh, of of all the uh, of all the activities and you know we're, they're going to be showing a few different sports tomorrow we're back at the fastball diamond on uh, on thursday and then friday and saturday we're back in here too so it's it's looking to be uh, a good time at the ball diamond and so. again of course take a look at the uh, the, uh, the website the myaccess.ca website for all the broadcast times and teams and uh, definitely take out if you get a chance come see this live but if you're unable to and you want to take in the game and uh, in the comfort of your cool hotel room. Uh, catch us on uh, on Channel 7 on, on ac Access Cable and uh, on HD, uh, Channel 70 uh, in and around the Regina area. I think it's, uh, that, that's the way I get it out at Regina Beach anyway. And uh, it was a real great honor to work with you today. Access Communication, again, um, check us out online. Check us, check uh, check the uh, Cultural Village uh, tomorrow at, uh, after 11 o'clock for um, uh, copies of the, uh, of the broadcast that we did uh, between uh, New Brunswick and uh, Northwest Territories. And of course, this came between Team Saskatchewan and Team Ontario. So we have them. So with that, Lyle, is, uh, we'll see you Thursday. All right. Take care, man. Thank you.